Pass out where you went yesterday, Gumbo, Fufu. You go to Grand Cruz Service, and uh, we have pepper soup, pan butter, you name it. And you go to uh, Grand, Grand K Man County Rubber Spot, we have uh, 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 Kesawa Lee, Pasayama. And of course, in the Gola County, we have uh, Ray Oil Pepper Soup. Ray Oil Soup. Jollof rice, rice yes, is also they use from the, those from uh, America. It's jollof rice, and we 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 we. we and in fact, our cooks, uh, they they are very good at cooking jollof rice. They had the last time they had a, a, a competition, African competition, and Liberia took the lead for cooking the best jollof rice in Africa. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, yeah, very good. Can, can I throw, can I throw in a quick yes, question there? So uh, since Liberia have the best jollof rice, uh, uh, where would you find jollof rice uh, uh, on, on, throughout Liberia? You'll uh, find jollof rice in, in, a, in, a, in a restaurant, in some of the leading restaurants, if you want to have it. In fact, they have some restaurants in Liberia that cook social Liberian dishes, including jollof rice. So that means uh, most restaurants should have jollof rice of on course, the menu. Of course, of we're, course. We're still, waiting to see, we're still waiting to see a menu with it, though. Yeah, you see that they, they have it on the menu. We've been here for a few days. So they have Liberian restaurant where they have Liberian food. And you want to eat cassava leaf on uh, on Kerry Street? You want to eat uh, color green? Uh, not color green. You want to eat uh, palava salt, okra salt, whatever. Get it. So, so is it more of the traditional restaurant or is it the international restaurant? International restaurant, they have them there too. Like they the cook like the international well restaurant cook Liberian dishes too. So we are about to enter the main street. This is uh, this is we are staying in mean, Pinsville, Pinsville City. Pinsville City. Yeah, just completed SKD Copper Road. No more in Pinsville City. We are in okay. Congo Town. Congo we are driving through Congo Town. Okay, you know, the, the, the free slave from America, when they were leaving, coming back, they were recaptured. And when they were recaptured, they were taken to the Congo Basin. And those of them that returned, most of them landed, settled on around this area. So they call the area Congo Town. All the way to um, from here to Calais, Calais Junction and even to the Invincible Park, Congo Town. Can you repeat that? You said they were. The we Congo, Congo Town. Congo, this is Congo Town. Right. They recaptured African on the sea. Thank you for They took them to the Congo Basin. Thank you for adjusting. Most the of them, when they came, they settled around the Congo area here. So they call this area Congo Town. So, the Congo went out to the water to enslave the them again? Yeah, they were recaptured. We call them recapture African. We kept it up. They recapture African. They call them Congo people. Oh. Recaptured, they're from America too. Oh, he's here. And taken to the Congo. Hi, good morning. Good morning, brother. Hi, I'm, I'm very sorry for uh, the late schedule because uh, we had a little tech traffic this morning. We're in a so, live, we're in a live presentation. It's just okay. yourself, and we need to do this all good. So we are driving. So we are after on the. After they were recaptured. Recaptured. They took them yeah. to Hong Kong. Yes, and then they. Then how did they get back here? They come back. Yeah, return back. Here. How did they, they get they, back? They didn't take them to Congo. They didn't? Yeah, During the transatlantic uh, Zion. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. let's let, let talk to them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Oh, no, 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 I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's no, it. No, we'll let them go. Yeah. It's okay. My place is so, so this, this is a Congo town. 
and on our right here, this is a Bolivar Junction. All right. Yeah, 72nd, leading to 72nd Barracks. We have some military installation here. 72nd is one of our military installation. That's the junction there. So, so the fence on our left, the brown and yellow fence, that's our Ministry of, of Health and Social Welfare. That is the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare on our left. The brown and yellow building built by the Chinese. The Ministry of Health and See the Chinese architecture. Take that, son. transportation to okay one minute on our right this the white horse that's a resident of Charles Taylor Charles Ganga Taylor the one in the Hague who was elected 1997 as president of the Republic of Liberia that was his church his building where there where he was taken from and taken to the Hague it's always a, a it's always something that's conflicting that it seemed like Charles Taylor is the only person that this, that got what he got, and like I'm sure it was a bunch of other people involved in things, and they and they you know they didn't get held accountable for anything. Was Charles Taylor made a scapegoat for everything else? Well, it seemed like everything is just blamed on him, but uh, we don't hear about other individuals that was a part of the the, 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 the crisis. Yeah, it, it seemed like uh, when I'm watching things about Charles Taylor, like. The world make him out to be this big monster, and he's the one that's responsible for everything. Yeah, I know Charles Taylor. That, People uh, will talk a lot about Charles, Charles Taylor. He was uh, a straightforward person. He tells you the truth, whether you like it or not. And he was somebody who, who liked to face a fact. Yeah, face it, you know, talk it. You, you, feel like, you feel like the man got thrown yeah, on the bus? Yeah, and also his alleged that like Charles Taylor, right? didn't go to the Hague for anything happening in Liberia. Well, no, not for Liberia. And, and they blamed him for Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, oh, yeah. So they just realized Sierra Leone. Yeah. the Jews and everybody else, yeah. excuse my language, yeah. were involved in Sierra Leone blood diamond trade blood for diamond decades. Trade, black diamond, yes. But they all put it on Charles Taylor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It seemed like he was made the scapegoat. The scapegoat, yes. Right. Okay. So, just want to make sure we're clear. Okay, pre appreciate that. So, ahead of us, we are going to see um, the ministerial complex built by previous government, uh, Ellen Johnson Sully, which housed uh, about uh, 10 government ministries and agencies. Previously, government were renting private homes at ministries and agencies. Right now, it's canceled because of the construction of this uh, ministerial complex. Built, it was also built by the Chinese. Where you see the structure standing, way back some years ago, it was a, uh, a, uh, 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 how they call it? U.S. Uh, military base. They call it uh, 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 Pentagon. The Pentagon <laughs> was right there. It was built by the Israeli and the American Pentagon. But they demolished it and constructed this structure there. That is the ministerial complex. EGS ministerial complex. Ellen Johnson Salif ministerial complex. So government is no more renting private homes as uh, uh, as a uh, Against the ministry or whatsoever. BGS. So, can you elaborate on that? For decades mm -hmm. before this current administration, several government offices were rented by, by, the, by the government, yes. paying money to individuals just yes. to use that facility. We have that. We have that in Virginia, where government office, Social Security uses uh, uh, offices, shopping centers, and. Some private property and anything. So yeah. it's not, that's nothing unusual. Most of our government buildings were 
owned by the government. What country? You know, that's how it was in those days. Right. Yeah. No, I'm just. I want him to elaborate. I want him to elaborate. Yeah, let's give him some more. Most of the buildings were rented. You know, a private owner, you know. And they're rented by government to the private, paying money to the individuals. Now, currently, it's no more because of the construction of that. So, all government We are still driving. This is, we are still, we are driving on Tottenham Boulevard. This is Tottenham Boulevard. William V. S. Tottenham. The 18th president of Liberia. Ah, the Shea. longest same president of Liberia. The one who opened the eyes of the Liberian people. Yes. The one who ruled Liberia for 27 unbroken years. Yes, sir. Oh, hell, Chief. Okay. William, Vagalus, Chadron, Tucker. Is he fully related to Harriet Tubman? Yes, yes, yes. He's he related to Harriet Tubman. That's Harriet Tubman. Uh, 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 That's uh, they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, they are from the. Georgia. Georgia, yes, yeah, south, the, from south of Maryland County. Actually, her husband, because he, Harriet didn't have any children. Yeah. He, he's related <laughs> to Harriet Tubman. You will see that. No you will see that at the museum too. They have a profile on him at the National Museum. Harriet Tubman. His brother's child. Okay. The brother's child. Uh, on our, on our brother's left, family. yeah. This is okay. a German embassy on our left. Yeah. The German embassy, right? The high wall. Yeah. The, the, this one here, okay. Yeah, when they are constructing this, there's a German embassy. Fucking Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. Germany was better for Liberia than the America was, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you still gotta keep your eye on it. Yeah, the next, the well, next structure you, you see there is a the Nigerian, the Nigeria embassy, Germany Nigeria house. That is a Nigerian embassy. Green and white. Nigeria. Yeah. How many embassies are in Liberia? Oh, we have, we, 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 I cannot give you that, the specific number. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for but we American have, embassy. We have more than 10 embassies in Liberia, excluding the consulate. Where's yeah. the American embassy? American, we're going to we're drive gonna, to we're, there. We're going to drive Is there any embassy from the Caribbean, like Jamaica, Barbados? I think they should, we should have some here in Liberia. Yeah. Yeah, no, so, yeah. Yeah, you because know, we've been asking about this Jamaica-Liberia relationship connection, you know, if, it's, uh, if you know, it exists. Jamaica-Liberia, they have a good good relationship, you know. You remember Jamaica Road in Liberia here? Jamaica Road, where the Jamaican used to go, or Mali, they used to go singing. So they named the area Jamaica Road. That's beautiful. Jamaica Road. You're yeah, happy, man. What about, somebody, <laughs> what about some of the entertainers that used to come oh, here well, back in the day? Who did you see at the Ducor and stuff Oh, like but that? well, at Ducor, I'm going to show you that. I'm, oh, when we reach the Ducor, I'm going to give you everything. Oh, okay. You got to yeah. remind me. The relationship is so good, right? You know, Liberians are very hospitable people. We welcome foreigners. You know, President William V. S. Tottenham opened the policy, unification and integration policy open all those for investors to come into the country and invest. That will still continue during the past and even this current government. We are going to experience traffic here because today is working day and most people oh. leave it, can leave the, the, the outskirts of Moravia, go to central Moravia for work. They're going to work. What's the African liberation mean? Oh, I see it right there. What is so, that? You know, Tubman Boulevard. Pan, 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 several Pan-African yeah, groups, I, but, yeah. you know, you got to be careful, you know. You know, I'm not, I absolutely want to be sure. I have a check. Me, I'm, I'm monitoring them and stuff like that, but I'm just, you know. You know, Pan-Africanism. We got our independent before any other country in Africa. Right. Huh? And Liberia still fan in the total liberation of some other African country. Somalia. Mm -hmm. you see? We, we, we stood firm. So Africa, even in fact, you are going to see that there's a monument named after that uh, liberation monument, African liberation monument at the, at the Centennial Pavilion because of Liberia rule. Liberia was one of the founders of the Organization of Africa Unity, 1951. It was from in, in, in Stanley Cole, Nima County. 
Liberia play a better, very vital role in the African liberation struggle.